The diving board in this problem is held in equilibrium by two supports. The support on the left end exerts a downward force, F sub L, and the support one meter away exerts an upward force, I'll call that F1. And this problem asks us to find both of those forces. We'll start by drawing a free body diagram of the board. Four forces act on the diving board. The downward force, FL, is shown here, and the upward force, F1, acting a meter away from the left end, and then we're told that a 500 newton person stands on the free end. So there's a downward weight force of the person, and the diving board itself has weight of 280 newtons. So that force acts at the diving board's center of mass, which is at its geometric center. We'll solve for the two forces, FL and F1, using Newton's second law, summing forces, setting it equal to ma, and summing torques, setting it equal to I alpha. The board is held in equilibrium, so both its translational and angular accelerations are zero. When we sum forces in the vertical or y direction, we have F1 in the positive y direction and three downward forces. There are two unknowns in this equation, so let's leave it for now and sum torques. First we choose a point to sum torques about, and I'll choose the left end, letting torques out of the screen be positive. The force FL exerts no torque about the left end because it has no moment arm, so the first torque we need to calculate is due to the force F1. That force has this moment arm and is directed up, so the right hand rule shows us that the torque is out of the screen, and that is the direction we're calling positive. So it's a positive torque with this moment arm and this force. The next force to calculate the torque for is the weight of the diving board itself with this moment arm and because it's directed down, the right hand rule shows us that torque is negative. Here's its moment arm, and there's the magnitude of the force causing the torque. The last torque is due to the weight of the person standing on the end of the board. Here's its moment arm, the force itself is directed down, so that torque is also negative. With a moment arm of three meters and a magnitude of force of 500 newtons. We can solve this now for F1, one of the unknowns we're asked to find. When you calculate, you find that it equals 1920 newtons. Now knowing the value for F1, we can come back to our sum of forces equation, solve it for the force on the left hand side, substitute all the known values, and find that the other force we were asked to find, FL, is 1140 newtons.